I'm at the urologist. They want me. It's a vlog, so I thought I'd take you along. Hi! My name is Kat! Hey, so today I'm going to be seeing my urogynecologist. Um, his name is Dr. O'Neill and I'm going to be seeing him for my interstitial cystitis. I don't know if he specializes in it, but I do know that he works with IC patients. So I'm hoping he can do something for me. The first visit is probably not going to have, we're probably not going to do very much. We're probably just going to be talking about my IC and when I got diagnosed, stuff like that. Um, probably looking for um, other, probably going to look like the documentation for my other doctor that diagnosed me and all that stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully um, we can try to like come up with a game, game plan eventually to try to treat this better. Um, but I'll let you know when I get inside. Bye. I'm having to use my other memory card because this, my black memory card is not working for some reason, which is really weird. No! But we're here and we're waiting. No! No! I feel really bad because there's a lot of babies here because it's a gynecologist. No! Here we are. No! I could scare them. I'm at the urologist. They want me. It's a vlog, so I thought I'd take you along. I'll meet myself. They're wanting to do a pelvic exam, and of course it's a guy. I'm a rape victim, and I really don't want him to have to look down there. Like, as soon as she said that, I started shaking. Um, I don't think I'm gonna let them do it. I don't know though, I don't really know how comfortable I'm gonna be around him. Um, they're, she's gonna talk to him, and I, <laughs> no! I guess I'll find out when um, he comes in here. But I'm extremely nervous, <laughs> and I really don't want them to have to look down there. If it's a girl, fine. I'll hold, hold. She came and scared me, but I finished this questionnaire, so I'll update you soon. I need to get not so embarrassed about this. Okay, so I didn't feel comfortable with him looking in, um, like around my bladder, or not really inside my bladder because he can't do that today, but um, he wanted to do like a normal gynecological, what do you call it? Gynecology? He wanted to do a normal kind of gynecology exam on me, but um, with my past trauma, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. But um, we set up a cytoscope. I'll put the name on the screen in case I'm butchering that. But it's basically where they take a camera into your bladder. They're going to have to put me to sleep for it, so I'm going to have to go under anesthesia. It, but um, basically what he's, it does is he's going to put some kind of something in my bladder maybe water or i don't know some kind of fluid in my bladder to fill it up and by doing that it'll expand the bladder and a normal healthy bladder will um deflate and look normal but if you have ic it'll create these little red lines that are kind of like bleeding looking and um i'll s put some pictures up from online that i'm showing you and basically it'll look like that if i have ic um the person that diagnosed me with interstitial cystitis um he didn't look inside my bladder um he just based the diagnosis off of my history with my bladder and some people are diagnosed with that some people do end up getting this um, cystoscope that can also diagnose it because if you look up IC it's kind of like um, it's kind of like Tourette's you um, what is it called when you push things away you look at this it's not this you look at this it's not this you look at this it's not this you're talking about how did I explain it because I even forgot that shit now you it's see, not this is not this is not this. It's not this. What is it? it um, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's um, you're searching for something else, but that's not the word you're looking for. Um, if you hadn't have said it, I would. <laughs> 
limiting something. You're eliminating that, but you're searching for something else, and that's still not the word you're looking for. Different word for elimination. Elimination. Okay, well, you're eliminating other possibility. You're eliminating other possible things it is, and then once you find out it's not one of those, you kind of get slapped with interstitial cystitis most of the time. Um, if your IC is bad enough and you want to start treatment, then they'll start with the cystoscope thing, and they'll go from there. Now, if they find out that it's not IC, there's other tests they can do. I asked about that because I was worried, like, oh my goodness, it, it, did I not find out what's wrong with my bladder because that's a very big scary thing because you know I have had the POTS diagnosis and then I don't have the POTS diagnosis and I got kind of a little comfortable with the idea that I knew why I was fainting because when you faint it's very scary and I had I thought I had an answer and I don't have an answer for it now okay so my whole like pretty much life I didn't have an answer for my bladder pain and now I have an answer right now I'm, I'm scared it's gonna get taken away from me I, I do want a proper diagnosis but being put back into medical limbo with my bladder is fucking scaring the shit out of me so I had to ask okay what if it's not icy and he says there's other um, tests so um, he sounds like he can do what I need him to do but we're gonna be doing this test they're gonna have to be putting me asleep again which I'm not very excited about because I hate having to go to sleep I did not like um, coming out of the anesthesia last time I did it with my um, stomach which um, I can't think of the name um, but um, EDG, I think. not EDG I don't think EDG. Mm -hmm. I, we don't know um, but um, I don't know I'm hurt my back hurts but um, yeah, today went well. He's a cool doctor, I guess. Um, he doesn't show very emotion, but I guess that's a guy for you. So, but I like him. He sounds nice. Um, I don't think we're gonna have a big connection. I do like having connections with my doctor, um, as long as he is knowledgeable and can help my bladder not like bleed and cry all the time. That'd be nice. But um, he says, with how I filled out that little questionnaire that I showed y'all, that he says, it looks like you probably have IC. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. They're going to call me and set up that date. So, um, a lot of doctor's appointments coming up for y'all. Um, hopefully, I'll, we'll get some answers. And, yeah, hopefully soon. Yeah. I don't. Do you really think that's gonna happen now with having to go to a new neurologist? Neurologist? Do you really see that happening though? We're talking about the bladder surgery thing. Oh, it's not a surgery. Uh, but yeah. Putting you to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we really want that before the um, insurance starts over because that's gonna be expensive. Hey, but the um, sleep thing is gonna be 100% free. Did you know that? The sleep, the nighttime sleep thing. So, yeah. What day is that again? Uh, I don't know. I recorded it. I recorded the conversation, I think. Well, we'll let y'all know. So, um, I'll talk to y'all next time I see you. I think I have a hate comments video coming out next. So, stay tuned for that. And I love y'all. Thank you so much for being alive today. And have a great day. Bye.